to you. It's Lucy Luck, and I like to play non-traditional cozy games and make them cozy. Today we're playing Baldur's Gate 3, which I've been unable to stop playing since I started. So, without further ado, get comfy cozy, pop on some headphones if you like, and let's go on an adventure. Okay, I'm going to do my best to make this as comfortable as possible, so there will be a bit of jumping around to do for your relaxation and entertainment. But to catch you up to speed, She-Hulk and I woke up in this strange cocoon on a strange ship, and the dude from Pirates of the Caribbean put worms in our eyes. Grody. But then I got character that looks like a cleric Barbie from hell, and after over an hour working on her, I also got to make her an attractive Shrek guardian. This is my favorite part in any game, so it was two hours well spent. With that out of the way, I woke up still in this charming place and touched absolutely everything. After passing through too many sphincters, I made two friends, made several enemies, and got yeeted from the Lovecraftian nightmare ship. But it's okay. I survived because this happened. And now this is where we begin our journey together. On this beautiful beach, with a worm in our brain. And I've already lost all two of my new friends. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. Okay. Let's see, I'm gonna check myself. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. But it'll all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. All right. I love that narrator already. She's absolutely incredible. Should mind my step. Find a cure. Escape the nautiloid. Just did that. Let's loot this dead body. Let's loot absolutely everything. Oh, it's Shadowheart. And I remember her name because it's the only one that I can pronounce. I am curious about that artifact, but I think that I should just wake her. Be a good person. Mm. Wait, you're up. alive. I'm alive. How is this possible? Let's see. Doesn't matter. True. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Okay. What happened to our friend? You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Hmm. She seems wildly prejudiced, but... You're more concerned for her than she is for you, clearly. We need to take care of ourselves. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. I love that face I'm making. Okay, let's see where we're at. I wonder no, if she knows. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. Of course not. Okay. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. Right. Let's get going. One thing. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again freeing me. It would have been all too easy for you to run right past my pod, but you didn't. I'll remember that. Lead the way. I got you. I'm kind of in the habit of saving absolutely everyone I find, but I don't know if I like her. 
going to be honest, she's a little mean to our other friend. But who knows, maybe. Maybe I'll come around. Maybe she'll come around. Okay, time to speed run getting encumbered. Excuse me. Something the matter. No, I didn't mean to click on you. I'm uh, just gonna leave. I am still getting accustomed to using the keyboard and mouse. I don't typically play this way, so might be a few oopsies along the way. Fresh water. There must be a settlement. I don't nearby. even know if any of this is helpful to grab, but I'm just going to do it. letter. It sounds lovely. Let's read it. Love you. There you said it. Meet me tomorrow. I'll say it again. Oh boy. Well, this is a tragic conclusion to whatever journey they were on. Anything of use? Back to Seems like there's a lot going on here. I don't know if this is a normal behavior for somebody to go through absolutely everything, but here we are. This is who I am. Here goes nothing. We get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. What's this? going to be the way that we fast travel. I have not seen much. You know, I'm beginning to think it's an odd choice to do ASMR for a narrative-heavy game. But that's okay. We're already here, and I'm having too good of a time to play anything else right now. Thankfully, everyone seems to have pleasant voices so far, so that's helpful. Oh dear. Well, as cozy as it is to obliterate baby zombie brains, I should probably skip ahead. There we go. That's better. No nightmares here. There was an option in the ship to befriend one of those little guys, though, but I failed that miserably, and ran off. Well, of diminution. Dim diminution. Diminution. Void bulb. I have no idea what these things are, and I'm not going to read this readily available script here to find out. I'm just going to carry all of it, and probably never use it until somebody in a wiki somewhere tells me how it useful it is. All I know is loot, organize loot, hoard loot. I shouldn't, and sell loot, I probably also shouldn't. Then repeat until no one in my party can walk. It's relaxing. Alright, I could lockpick this, or I could just throw it. I just want to conserve any lockpicks I have for the time being which is probably a little unnecessarily conservative, but hey, I survived a pandemic, and I'm a changed woman. Gotta save where we can. This looks like a great place to fish. Is there fishing in this game? Oh well, we can save that for Red Dead. This has been a nice break from the usual games that I gravitate towards. Never played a D&D style game before, but I'm really enjoying it. Ooh, is that a forage bowl I see? I wonder if there's... It looks like there might be some sort of mechanic where I can brew potions with them. I hope so, because that sounds lovely. And probably what I should be doing for this video, rather than running around and getting into fights. 
Man, this ship must have really inconvenienced this town. Who do we have here? Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. A starian. In the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? I'll save you. I've seen so much about this guy, and so I'm very excited to meet him. Can you see it? Where is he? Well, that's Just silly. a dumb boar. You're relieved until you see the flash of a dagger. <gasps> Judas. I've been bamboozled. We don't have to do this. Let's do and put it away. We don't need to fight. Don't we? I saw you on the ship. Free. Scuttling about. You scuttling. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacles. Ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? Oh yeah, that's just the old... the old brain worm. Of course. That explains things... somewhat. And to think, I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. <laughs> no apologies. Man, what do I say here? Because that whole situation was a little messed up. And I should set healthy boundaries, but here I go, being a people pleaser. Toxic. <laughs> a kindred spirit. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Introduce yourself. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? Mm, I should probably give it to him straight. Worm bad. Turn us into... <laughs> <laughs> of course it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Although, it hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Yeah, you should. You should travel with me. Come with me, silly little minx. You know, I was ready to go this alone. But maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. No, you seem like a useful person to know. I've read the wikis. I know what I'm doing. No, never mind. Oh, except I just found out I can level up. I wonder how long that's been there. Level 2 cleric. Once again, I'm really not sure why I chose Cleric. That's not really in my play style, but I wanted to do something a little different. Okay. I guess we gotta level everybody up here. I'm really gonna have to use wikis throughout this whole thing to figure out the best way to level these people up, because I don't know. I never know what I'm doing. And I'm not going to pretend that I do. That was easy peasy. Didn't have to make any choices. Oh god, are we gonna have to go back through that thing? It's not very comfy cozy. This is the way. There. A mind flare. Not these guys again. Things bound to be dangerous, even if injured. Dangerous, you say? Let's touch it. Approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. 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 Yeah, no. I should be furious. Shouldn't I? Yes, you feel hate. 
And you deserve to be punished for it. Ooh. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Ooh, I wonder if I can see what he's thinking. See if there's anything to glean from this. Oh dear. I forgot I was a bimbo. <laughs> My hearts. Yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. At least I'm slaying, though. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. I'm gonna squish him. I'm gonna squish him. I squish them. If I've learned anything from anything, it's that if you don't Monster. see them die, they Death don't die. Different. Them's the rules. Okay. Anything else interesting here, or can I leave? I'm almost certain this is just eventually going to take us back to where we came from, but I want to be sure I didn't miss any good loot. I always feel like the one thing I didn't loot is going to be the most magical sword in the game or something. I just don't want to miss out. Let's see, there's a healing potion. That seems like it'll come in handy. This place is grody. I don't like it. Where am I? I'm lost. Okay, let's just go back out. This Don't way. Stop me yet. This Don't looks like an area that we haven't been to yet. Why isn't my camera moving with me? I think I've been roaming around the map a little too much. What's this? That doesn't look like it should be doing that. Oh, don't all be talking at once. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. Let's touch it. Yeah, that went a bit as expected. Hello. Anyone? A hand indeed. What should we do? <laughs> Slap the hand. Now let's do, let's lean into our cleric wisdom here. I don't imagine I have a lot of strength, so I bet our odds are better going with this. There we go. I sort of panicked when I picked cleric. Should have been a wizard. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. Oh, I gotta pull him anyway. But yeah, I should have been a wizard. Powerful, comfy, and schmoozy. Purple. Purple is a choice. Oh. I like his hearing. Hello. I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. No need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Um, I'm more curious how you got in that I don't know portal. What transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? Man, I don't even know.
Let's go with the cleric. It is a valuable commodity to be favored so by the gods. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. Back on the ship, you too were on the receiving end of a rather unwelcome insertion in the ocular region. Were you not? That's quite a way to put it. Couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? I've got a process it. known as ceramorphosis, and let me assure you, it is to be avoided. <laughs> so, speaking about divine intervention, you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance. I do. You? I Doctor, am a cleric. Surgeon, uncannily adroit with a knitting needle. <laughs> you seem to know enough about our condition to realize it's beyond most clerics' skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Yeah, I'm a cleric, but I don't know what I'm doing. As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? It sounds like a good plan. Most excellent. A parasite shared is a parasite halved. Or something to that effect. Oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered a man, thank you for pulling me out of that stone. It was an act of foresighted kindness, I assure you. I have the feeling ample opportunities will present themselves for me to return the favor. What a distinguished gentleman. I like him. I like his fancy earring. I bet it'll be good to have a wizard on my team. Well, now which way do we go? We're looking for our other friend from the ship and a healer. Let's just continue down this path. Well, alright, there are multiple paths. And I'm an indecisive woman, but let's go this way. Uphill seems promising. What's with all Griffin. these traps? Must have been here a while. And where are all the townspeople? If I lived here, I'd be gawking at the shipwreck. What am I gonna do? Knit? Make potions? With all this going on? No way. No way. Get real. Get real. Dirt mound. I need a shovel to dig this up. Well, that's awfully convenient. Dirt mounds are good. We like dirt mounds. Whoever buried this doesn't seem to care much about a rapscallion like me, though. I'm plundering this. Alright. I think I'm just going to keep pressing north. Because it just feels right. I feel like I'm really going somewhere. Now I know I'm onto something. What's going on over here? And over here, everything was loud and angry. So, for a quick synopsis, these dudes wanted in through this lovely gate because they were running from goblins. But this guy was having none of that and really fiddled around about the whole situation. Then, surprise, surprise, goblins arrive. And they are also having none of that. They kind of tried to get the gate open, but that didn't go so well. So, of course, a battle commences. And this absolute badass with one eye appears out of nowhere to help. After the fight, I loot everything in sight, level up, and then stand patiently at the gate because I've earned it. I learn that the town is called Emerald Grove, and I'm excited because I love groves. I go to assess the damage, and the damage was immense. This girl was justifiably big sad and mad about it, and I assume she's off to seek revenge, as one does. The 
These guys are yelling at each other, and I just met them, so I don't side with anyone, and simply try to calm them down. But unfortunately, I throw a 14 when I need at least a 15, and I witness a real smackdown. This guy is worried about more goblins showing up, and so he shouts that everyone must pick up and leave immediately. Then the other guy is just really having a bad day and says, I'm done. And that's what happened. I hope you enjoyed my synopsis since the yelling. Now that's settled. I wouldn't have looked to a drow for help, but I'm grateful all the same. I'm Zevlor. I wouldn't have looked for a drow to help. How rude. Oh well. And I'm Lucy. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Well, I'm really just looking for a healer. Didn't mean to meddle. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. All right, well, it seems that I'm meddling now, so here we go. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though... I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. All right. I suppose I will see what I can do. Really? We're messengers now. We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense. All right, off we go. Oh, and if it's of any concern, you're brave to walk around without hiding your heritage. Um, excuse I'll make me? sure everyone knows that you helped us at the gate. Hiding my heritage? What a horrible thing to say. I know nothing about my own heritage, but I'm offended nonetheless. Who's this guy? He seems important. about our lives, our futures. No, you just care about your refugees, adventurers, and even a drow. No one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Shutting down the grove. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. All right, enough questions. Just some bits and bobs selling? I no longer need. All right. I can sell all of my duplicates here. Perfect. That's what the real game is. Looting and selling. Looting and selling. Why are these guys yelling? Stop yelling. Yeah. I'm trying to barter over here. I've never used a bartering system though, so just drag and drop, I see. I really like the sounds that it makes. It's really satisfying. I have a lot of stuff that's probably junk, but I'm weary about selling it too soon. sell that letter, but I don't know if that's important for a quest. Does the candle help? Can the rags be made into something? Probably sell the rags. And this broken loot, can I fix that? Can I fix that and then play it? Or is that just junk? I really don't know. It's not giving me any more information than it already is. 
And so, do you see me as well? Slide of hand. We love that. Alright, what does he have? Anything of use here? Probably just water. Okay, no, I don't want to donate these. I want to sell them, preferably. What am I doing? Why is he mad? What's he mad about? There we go. Alright, I'm gonna talk to these guys so they stop yelling. Got people to sleep over here. Sylvanas, guide your path. Alright, what are you shouting about? Let's figure this out because it seems I'm the only one that's going to. Hello? I should probably click. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Okay, I think that I'm siding with this girl. I'm not really feeling these cleric of low lip responses. They seem a little too brash for my taste. So let's see if we can use our persuasion. Beautiful. I love to see it. Thank you. It's the right thing to do and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. Yeah, the right choice seems to help with the fight. Maybe create some more harmony between themselves and the druids. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Alright. Okay, so what am I doing? This game is a bit of a mess for my ADHD. So we need to find that friend we lost, find a healer, and then try to convince the druids to protect the refugees. Or first find a healer, figure out the refugee situation while I'm here, and then maybe later find our friend. Once this is all taken care of. Also, who is that swordsman that popped out of nowhere? Is he another companion? Because he gave off a real new companion energy. But first and foremost, the cure. Something over there. Something over there. Something over where? Is it these kids that are talking? I have too many things going on in my brain right now for another side quest, though. I would absolutely lose my mind. Up ahead, there was a very loud interaction with, you guessed it, another side quest. These refugees begin shouting at the druids to release their daughter that's been imprisoned for stealing. Tensions rise, and this guy just straight up turns into a bear, like the werewolves from Twilight do when they get mad. I approach the druids, and they give me Mixed signals, offering to let me speak, then becoming real racist about me being a drow. I insist that I literally just saved all of their wives, and she's still mad. But this guy vouches for me and tells her Kaga wants to see me. I have no idea who Kaga is, but I meander over there to see what's up. Inside, Kaga is threatening this child with a snake stealing a precious idol. I assume this must be the child of the refugees outside, and take it upon myself to try and persuade her to free the girl. Thankfully, with my charisma, I rolled well, and the child was free to go. She, however, did not approve my notion to allow the refugees to stay. Instead, she suggests 
I offer my services to protect them on their way out. With that being my only real option, I agree. And now we can head to the nearby healer. So, Holson isn't here, but apparently this woman named Nettie may be able to help us out. I see you. Just give me a moment. I love her accent. Can I help you? A moment. This may be There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what? Trow. Last time I saw one of you folk, he tried to slit me open. I hope you're more agreeable. It's always drow this, drow that. Can't you see I'm wonderful? Good enough to tell there's nothing obviously wrong with you. A bit tired, maybe. But we're all a bit tired. We are all a bit tired, aren't we? We've earned a nap. But there's something in my eye, dog. Crawled in? Some sort of bug? Or... Wait, did it look like a tadpole? But from your worst nightmare? All slime, teeth and tentacles? That's the one. Now can you help me? Please. I, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. Well, this seems promising. We need to be quick. What's up this with the bird? Way. The bird's eyes are glassy. It's breathing weak. Okay, maybe this isn't so promising. I thought she healed that little guy. Alright, where did she go? In here? Oh, in here with that dead guy. Great. Don't worry about him on the table. I'm not in the habit of killing Drow. I am worried about him. He attacked Master Halson and I in the woods, leading a pack of goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Well, my intuition is telling me something is up here, but I'm still going to remain friendly. I can never really bring myself to be too sassy with anyone, especially if they might be able to help us. Don't bite the hand that feeds you and all that. So, did that other drow have the same brain worm? Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. Oh, am I about to get lobotomized? Sign up for that. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. No, I'll stay. I'd rather know exactly what you're up to. Yes, All please right. do. Let's see what we can do. I thought she'd use magic or something. Don't put that thing in my eye. She shifts uneasily, hesitating. Something's off. I'll say. It might. But first things first. Tell me about your symptoms. Have you noticed anything strange happening? Okay. I ought to be forthright with her, lest I get attacked with that thing. Maybe tell her I can merge my mind with people. Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. Oh yeah, just on that giant organ ship that fell from the sky. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. She was gonna stab me. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. She was going to stab me. I guess that's fair. I would have been a little cautious myself, but you have some splaining to do. What about that branch of yours? The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort. 
In case I couldn't trust you, I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? All right, all right, I'll take the poison off your hands. I hope it doesn't come to that, but thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. Master Halson and I were tracking them, studying them, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Well, I don't know about normal. You flatter me. But yeah, we should have changed by now. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. I guess that's good. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna. And I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers. Joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. Oh boy. Well, that can't be good. When someone leaves and doesn't come back, that's never good. The thing is, I've sent birds to find him. But the place is rotten with goblins. None of us can even get close. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean, they won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Sounds good. Sounds great. We've been talking for a while now, so I'm just going to say I'll find him. Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you what happened out there. But those adventurers were the only witnesses. And they're long gone. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have gone as far as to make an oath. But here we are. But this is probably where we should end our cozy adventure this evening. If you would like to see more, let me know in the comments below, because I'm absolutely enamored with this game, and would love to play more with you all. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have, but until then, sweet dreams, and I look forward to seeing you next time.